is not here tonight, I'd like to call this meeting to order. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for coming. It's nice to see a little crowd. And uh, secondly of all, I will ask you to, since this is a board meeting, if that you will refrain from comments during the meeting and we will open up the meeting at the end so that you may say whatever you'd like or any suggestions you have for the board. So thank you again and I appreciate you uh, understanding that this is a board meeting. George, do you want to use the microphone? Yes, you're right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Establish a quorum. Bill is not here tonight, so he's not present. Georgia Quinch is present. Nick? Nick is present. Nick? Gail Anderson? Gail Anderson is present. Orlando Evans is present. Orlando Evans is present. And we have two guests, right? Right. But we have established a quorum for the board. Okay, the uh, minutes of the previous uh, meeting. You all have a copy of the minutes. Do you wish to have the minutes read or do you wish to dispense with the reading of the minutes? Uh, we need we need to approve some other minutes besides. Either put them, you know, we need to amend them. Uh, oh, we do I, have I the did adjust that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's all in there. Do you wish so it's the minutes from pre meetings were actually approved. Those were approved. or do you wish to dispense with the reading of the minutes? Uh, there may be another adjustment to the minutes that these committee members are, that Phil suggested last month are listed in the minutes, but they have changed now, right, as I understand it. Well, I think because so. of last month, all of us, uh, the, um, they were only announced. And what we had failed to do was to uh, approve this is what actually happened last month, so that's correct. Cool. They were only announced, and the board did not vote to accept the chair people or the people on their committees, which is a very important thing because if we do not approve the, the committee chairs and the people on their committees, then they are not covered by our umbrella or any liability. So that's why it's an important thing that has to be done. And I think we can get into that into um, full business. Okay, I move to approve these minutes. Is there a second? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Minutes stand approved. Can we have the treasurer's report, please? Treasures, we do not have the financials for the end of December yet. They will be done probably within the next week. Between the end of the year, that always makes a difference. I have them, but there's quite a bit going on with them right now. So, so there's maybe some adjustments being made, Chris? It's not so much of that. It's I, the, the, the first set of financials, it's pretty important to make sure they're absolutely crisp. I'll there's go some things, that. There's some things that went on previously that I'm making sure I understand. And... Uh, I would I would say by the end of the weekend I will have all of that done and, and copy it to you guys. Okay, for people in the audience, at the man at the end is uh, Sarah's boss actually, Chris uh, from Independent Management, and so and he's a CPA, so he's uh, making sure our financials are right for the end of December. Uh, we I did get a printout of the current aging report, uh, because it's a. Uh, months later than the last one we had, the, the, the numbers are higher, but uh, we do have the attorney working on a couple of, probably three of those accounts right now. So we don't have uh, a real good financial report to say, except that based on last month's balance sheet and p &L, basically we're looking to be in pretty good shape. If there's no surprises when we look at the, the end of December, 
uh, will be happy. I'm sorry, that's all I have to report tonight. Will someone make a motion to accept the treasurer's report? All in favor? The treasurer's report has been accepted. Um, we have approval of the financials, but I guess, as we said, next. Yeah, okay. That will be and next. And there is, um, I'm going to turn this over to Chris. There was some question about um, their pending license, so I'm going to turn this over to Chris so he can explain that. Thanks. I've, um, I've been on the phone with the state quite a bit in recent weeks. There was, uh, the only way I can put it is a mix-up. Um, to make a long story short, originally we had filed for this uh, licensing that we needed back uh, in the summertime, as everyone generally needed to that was a firm. I had made a decision that I was going to, at that time, I was going to change the corporate structure of the company. And I called the state and asked them to halt the processing of the application because I was going to change the entity. I remember calling and, and telling them to proceed with it. They don't have record of that. I had a long discussion with them after the holiday. They're very aware of our situation. They know we're operating at license. They're not asking us to cease and desist. They're expediting our application ahead of all the other applications. There's only one step left before we have that taken care of. They realize we manage a number of properties. And both groups accept some blame, I think, because uh, I talked to the person that I talked to to tell them to go ahead with it. And we understood each other, at least. Um, I take full responsibility for it, and I apologize to the board and to the membership for the problem. It's embarrassing to me. Um, in this business, we need to be licensed. Uh, there's a there's a fiduciary duty and there's a responsibility that uh, comes with being licensed, and we try and uh, employ that and, and be that as professionals every day. And, and to not have something like this taken care of, it, it is my fault. And again, to the board, I apologize. I in talking to them. Uh, yesterday, they expect us to be approved, if not tomorrow, at the first part of next week, and um, this should be close at that point. Chris, I have a question. Now, Sarah's licensed as a CAM. As am I. And you're licensed as a CAM, so this is just a license for the overall. Yeah, I mean, to put this in context, if if you looked at Gulf Breezes situation, they were in the same spot we are. I don't know um, if they may have a similar situation. In talking to the state, 38% uh, of CAM companies that were licensed before the requirements have still not licensed yet. So this is a new requirement for 2009? It was new for the beginning of 2009. Most of us started doing it in the summertime as our busy season ended. And uh, again, it's, it's my fault. I should have followed up with them. They cashed the check but didn't do the license kind of thing. Um, I, I think that they're trying to make some improvements to it and get some word out there. But Sarah and I are both licensed individually. They're not, as, as, it, as, it, uh, as it may work out right now, we're still in the free period. And they weren't as worried about us managing for free, unlicensed, as they would have been had we been accepting payments, so uh, that may have worked to our advantage a little bit in talking to the state, but uh, they understand and were very stern with me, gave me a pretty good scolding, and uh, at the same time, are working through it. Thank you. So basically, you've got your you have ended up getting caught in the paper. I did. I mean, I don't want to blame them. Uh, I should have been following up with it, but uh, it should be taken care of very shortly. Thank you, Chris. Can you hear me? I, I, I don't we can think hear you, but it's not working. No, it's 